Kia ora, hello. I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our Tuesday weather update recorded on October the 24th. And there is a lot going on in our weather video this week. We've got a big cold blast for the lower South Island. We've got a major tropical cyclone up near Vanuatu. And the leftovers of that system with another low are going to produce some rain for both eastern Australia and northern New Zealand over the coming week. Let's get into it. On the animated map, you can clearly see Tropical Cyclone Lola, Category 5. Just before we went to record this video, the Fiji Met Service upgraded it to the highest level on the cyclone scale. That is a very serious storm for Vanuatu. Now, we've got our usual seven-day Pacific forecast out today. In that video, we're going to have a lot more detail about the cyclone. So if you need more information, please watch that video. At the moment, high pressure just to the northeast of New Zealand, encouraging a mild airflow. It's going to get pretty warm around New Zealand for the next day or two. And that's ahead of a wintry blast coming into the south. And speaking of wintry blasts, here is one of them there for Australia coming into Adelaide and over the next day or so into Victoria, Tasmania, the ACT. All right, lots to talk about. So let's get into the tracking. As I just said, as we just before we went to air, Category 5 upgraded and the Fiji Met Service expecting it to be that as it comes in tonight. It's moving very slowly, only at about walking speed by this evening. That's about eight kilometers an hour, which increases the chance of flooding. And at that category, there are other modeling that suggests it weakens a little bit as it comes in. But, you know, a, a Category 4 or a Category 5 is a little bit like driving at 90 k's an hour or 110. Um, not a lot of difference unless you're a police officer. Uh, so there you go. So Category 5 coming in tonight, very serious. But like I say, more details about this uh, in our Pacific Islands update. And just lastly, the tracking of it. I wanted to show you this for New Zealand and New Caledonia. While it's very intense up here, it weakens quite quickly based on the modelling and the modeling for a whole week now has been showing the cyclone falling apart as early as New Caledonia. So that's some good news for New Caledonia and certainly for New Zealand. All right, back down to here and a different set of rain on the way with up to 150 to 200 millimeters of rain for the west coast over the next few days and some heavier falls coming into the western and lower part of the North Island, but pretty dry, the green and the blue at the bottom of the scale, just a couple of showers for the top of the country and some of you in the east. Over in Australia, pretty dry for most places, but that low that's going to form this week in the Tasman is going to drive in some rain north of Sydney and Newcastle, perhaps about 40, 50 millimetres coming, which will be very welcome. It's borderline though, as you can see, but it is pushing inland a little bit. And you'll see why in a moment, the size of this low in the Tasman, nothing to do with the tropical cyclone to begin with, is the reason why you're going to get some rain. And the departure from normal temperatures for New Zealand today showing the lower South Island much warmer than average, more than eight degrees above normal. Most of the North Island's about where they should be, but the South Island warmer than usual. And in spring, that's usually a sign that something's on the way, something's coming. Uh, and it is, we've got this wintry change arriving Thursday, Friday. And just before we show you that, the temperature maps from Australia, these are not departure from normal, these are just the actual temperature maps. 40 degrees in the red, so very hot now uh, across the top half of Australia. Quite a different story in the lower half with those southerlies. So here we are for Wednesday. All right, let's make sense of everything going on. There's a lot happening. We've got the storm up here. Now the uh, box you see that shows what they call the cone of uncertainty where it could track is quite short. So while this is a major storm, I'm pretty sure this is a record breaking storm for this early in the season. We have had you know, um, tropical cyclones as early as September. Don't think we've seen a category five, but I I'm stand to be corrected on that one. But major storm up here, but it's short lived because it's cold. Sea conditions are not very good once you get to about New, New Caledonia. And you know we're still only just coming out of winter. So sea surface conditions are pretty cool. So the storm's only gonna really make it to about as far south as there. Gabriel, on the other hand, was all the way down to New Zealand. So this is not, another Gabriel, even though it is uh, very intense for Vanuatu. It's a serious storm for them. Southerly winds coming in, Adelaide to Melbourne to Hobart, your temperatures are dropping on Wednesday. And on Thursday, the colder air comes all the way up, Canberra, Sydney, Newcastle, Port Macquarie, Grafton, all the way up towards Queensland. You'll notice that temperature drop, uh, but look at this big change coming through. So New Zealand's warm again on Thursday, but by maybe lunchtime, 
that temperature starts to drop in Southland ahead of a wintry change coming in. So mild at the top of New Zealand, colder the southern end of New Zealand. And on Friday, colder still. We're seeing uh, some data in our rural weather forecast showing snow flurries around inland parts of Southland uh, and maybe around coastal parts of Otago. So wintry weather for Thursday night and Friday morning. You can check out rural weather for more information on that one. And then you've got this low up here. That's the reason we're seeing rain from Brisbane to Sydney on Friday. But look what happens on Saturday. That's when you start to get some of the leftovers of the tropical cyclone feeding in and creating kind of a new system. So that is going to drift further off away from Australia. So you've got a little bit of wet weather there, but not a huge amount. And in New Zealand, still colder on Saturday with the high parked out to our west and most places getting that southerly flow. So Sunday, the low here parked right over Norfolk Island. That's exactly what Cyclone Gabriel did, but this is not a cyclone. Uh, Gabriel was down to the 950s with air pressure when it was parked over Norfolk Island. This is 997. This is a weak low looking quite dramatic. And so that is good news for New Zealand, but the classic squash zone there for you with those windy easterlies. And our final map for Monday next week shows that low weakening even more. So you can relax a wee bit. And I say a wee bit because there's still a bit of uncertainty about just how much rain will build up around places like Northland and Coromandel. But for now, it is not a major problem for New Zealand, but it's one to definitely keep an eye on because anything that comes from the tropics or subtropics is worth monitoring. So there we go. That is the forecast for New Zealand through till Monday of next week. A lot happening. Our Pacific Island seven-day forecast also out today that has much more detail about the cyclone and the tracking into Norfolk Island and potentially New Zealand. Well, the leftovers of it anyway. That's all from me. We'll see you a bit later on with our next video.